Welcome to the shortwave radio channel and uh, was talking about uh, SDR Connect Preview 2. Uh, first I want to thank the uh, all of those that have mentioned that I can actually right click the frequency and it becomes yellow and I can then enter whatever frequency I want to tune around on the keyboard. Press enter and we are. So this simplifies the process a lot. So thank you all for mentioning that. Uh, but the uh, thing that I wanted to mention about SDR Connect that they will need to really work on is the um, resources it takes on computers. SDR Uno, when I run it on this PC, takes roughly 10% CPU. And it is pretty slim and I can do other things. I can run the browser, I can do other stuff together doing screen recording and it actually works very smoothly without a problem but I've noticed that I can't do too much with SDR Connect um, when I look at my task manager it definitely takes a lot more um, power or resources on the PC and I think if there is something that they will have to check if they can tweak more is definitely the uh, SDR Connect process. Uh, here you see it at 26, it sometimes goes high as 30, 35, uh, and it, it does bog down the PC somewhat. So um, this is something to check out. I think they need to maybe work a little bit more on the efficiency of SDR Connect software uh, for that to work uh, a little better, because I've noticed that when I turn on or when I use other software and do other things, uh, it does bog it down just slightly. Uh, it's not major, but it's enough that I think if you wish, and you know, if you wish to use this also in a uh, environment where that could be a, a mobile thing, you know, a tablet, for example, or a laptop, well, the fact that it uses more power, your laptop's battery is not going to last as long. So for the mobile aspect of using an SDR, uh, it's not as good. So. Hopefully they can fix that. Um, this is at least for Windows, uh, but that would be really, really nice if they could just tweak it to make it less of a, uh, a system hog than it is now, because this is roughly three times more resource and CPU usage than uh, SDR Uno right now. So uh, my two cents worth. But for the rest, um, I'm for now I'm sticking with it. Kind of like it, and. Uh, it's it's really uh, interesting to use. It makes you know it's it's like when we um, when when we uh, paint when you paint. It's like you have a new home. Uh, well, having a new piece of software like this redesign is nice because it's like having a uh, you know kind of a new SDR basically. Uh, but for now, the functionalities are great. Kind of like it and. Um, of course, we'll be checking out when new previews come out and when it's officially released. And the fact that it's multi-platform, that is really a game changer for um, for SDR devices, SDR play devices. Um, one thing that would have been nice, a mobile SDR connect for Android. That would have been cool. Um, I don't know if that is in the works or they have ever thought about it. But with all the Android devices out there, I'm sure that would have been something nice. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.